Hey, Bruce here, the five man handyman. Well, I am in my kitchen and I am getting ready to make some popcorn. So I want to show you how to do that. I've got a special way to make delicious popcorn. So uh, let me show you some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel so you can see uh, some cooking stuff and also handyman and renovation things. So let's get right to it. So what I've got set up here is I've got my stove and I have a, uh, a pot here, which um, this is a pot that I'm going to be using. And uh, this is one of our older pots when our daughter made some popcorn with her friend. And uh, you can see, well, this has been several years and it's still in bad shape. But this is the pot that I like to use. And um, I like butter on my popcorn, and I'll show you a special way to get the butter on all of the kernels. Uh, we're using some Orville Redenbachers and uh, some olive oil, and uh, we're not using any of this joint compound. I'm just using that so you can see in the pot. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to set this up here, and I'll explain how to make the best popcorn. You know, one of the things I like about popcorn is that you can get butter on it, and uh, sometimes what I'll do is I will take butter and I'll melt it, and then I'll pour it on the kernels after they've been popped. Uh, but it doesn't get over all of the kernels. Okay, the the process that I use here gets butter on all of it. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add oil, and the amount of oil, whether you're using olive oil or avocado oil or peanut oil or whatever it is. Uh, the key is to make sure that you get the bottom of the pan covered. Okay, so I'm just going to put my oil in here and make sure the bottom of the pan gets covered. Uh, we're going to pour in our kernels. All right, and so the amount of kernels that you put in here, uh, if, it, if it fills up the whole bottom of the pan, then that's going to pop up the lid a little bit. So I like to just do... A little bit less and as you can see here there's a lot more oil than uh, than one would normally put in but you need the oil in order to transfer the heat from the flames uh, from our stove and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stove on put that on high now the secret here that I like to do is uh, I like to put butter in when it's popping all right, but if I put the butter in now, the butter's gonna burn and it's not gonna, it's not gonna pop right. So what I'll do is I'll just set the butter here and wait for my first couple of kernels to start popping. And as soon as, as, soon as one or two pop, then I'll take the butter and I'll put it in and then it's gonna disperse. It heats up extremely rapidly because the oil is so hot and it will um, just give the popcorn a wonderful flavor. All right, so as this is heating up here, I just want to, you know, just make sure that everything is, everything is going well, that there's no burning or smoking of the oil inside the pan, um, and then we just wait. And, you know, a lot of times if you don't have enough oil, then you're going to have to go back and forth and do, you know, do a lot of, a lot of shaking and shaking to keep the kernels moving but if you have enough oil in here then you don't have to do that you can let it stay static the whole time all right and so I can see it's starting to, to bubble right around the kernels and uh, that's exactly what we're what we're wanting and so uh, we just gotta wait for the first couple of kernels and then we'll take our butter and drop it in and uh, this, this is the best, the best popcorn. So I'd encourage you to try this out. Uh, you can use any, type, any brand of, of oil or any brand of popcorn kernels, um, but the key is making sure you have enough oil in order to transfer the heat from the stove up into the popcorn kernels. Okay, there's two, three. So I'll just drop it in like that. All right, and it is going to melt the butter. Okay, we can see the butter's in here. 
and uh, it's doing its thing. So you just wait a few moments. And like I said, you don't have to you don't have to be shaking the pan all over the place because the oil is being transferred, the heat is being transferred through the oil. And so uh, that's all we're gonna have to do. And what I'll do is I have a, a bowl that I'm gonna pour this in. And I usually get a, a very high quantity of kernels that pop so we don't have a lot of a lot of kernels that don't pop because the oil is transferring the heat very efficiently okay and so we'll just keep track of how the popcorn is is jumping around inside of my pan and when it slows down then I'll shut off the heat and then dump that immediately into my bowl okay so it's slowed down quite a bit Okay, so we shut it off, and we dump it in. Okay, so here we go. So now I've got, got my kernels. All right, nice looking popcorn. Oh, nice buttery flavor throughout all of it. So that's the process that I use for, for my popcorn. Um, Love to have you subscribe to my channel, and uh, if there's other cooking things you'd like me to demonstrate, please leave that in the comments. Thanks for watching.